Eukaryota refers to a domain of organisms characterized by the presence of a nucleus in their cells. This category includes all animal, plant, and fungal life, as well as several types of single-celled organisms. Despite constituting a minor percentage of the world's organisms, eukaryotes play a significant role in the global biomass interestingly. Eukaryotes are considered to have originated from Archaea, another life domain, roughly 2.2 billion years ago, making it a theory that there are only two original domains of life, Archaea and Bacteria. These organisms are distinguished by their cell structures which include the nucleus, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, and other such membrane, bound organelles. While eukaryotic organisms can be either unicellular, like protists, or multicellular, like animals, plants, and fungi, prokaryotic organisms are primarily unicellular. Moreover, the size variation among eukaryotes is immense, ranging from microscopic single cells like picozoa to giant creatures like the blue whale and enormous plants like the coast redwood. Even though eukaryotes are a minor compared to prokaryotes in terms of individual count, their immense collective size brings the global biomass of both categories roughly equal. In terms of evolution, multicellularity has independently developed at least 25 times within eukaryotes, giving rise to intricate organisms that don't include amoebae aggregation forming slime molds. This has occurred six times in animals. Fungi, brown algae, red algae, green algae, green algae, and terrestrial plants, the classification of eukaryotes is primarily based on genomic similarities, despite the absence of obvious shared characteristics. Eukaryotes are biochemically distinct when compared to prokaryotes, possessing unique pathways such as terrain synthesis. The proteins unique to eukaryotes are universal to all their forms and have no homologues in other life domains. These include crucial components like the proteins of the cytoskeleton, the transcription machinery, the membrane, sorting systems, among other things. Eukaryote cells contain a variety of structures bounded by membranes, forming the endomerine system. Compartments like vesicles and vacuoles can form simply by budding off other membranes. Various cells consume food and other materials through endocytosis, where the outer membrane invaginates and pinches off to form a vesicle meanwhile. Certain cell products exit in a vesicle through exocytosis. The nucleus of the eukaryote cells is encased by a dual membrane, the nuclear envelope, with nuclear pores allowing exchange of materials. Extensions from this nuclear membrane form the endoplasmic reticulum, essential for protein transport and maturation here. Attached ribosomes synthesize proteins, which enter the vesicles. Basically, in eukaryotes, these protein-bearing vesicles are released and modified further by the Golgi apparatus. Vesicles can be specialized. For instance, lysosomes contain enzymes that break down biomolecules in the cytoplasm. Present in almost all eukaryotes, the mitochondria, often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. As it oxidizes sugars or fats to produce energy, it has its own DNA similar in structure to bacterial DNA and also produces RNA more akin to bacterial RNA than the eukaryotes reign it. Some eukaryotes, such as Giardia and Trichomonas from the Metamonids and the Pelomyxa from Amoebsophrum and Webozoans, seem to lack mitochondria. However, all harbor organelles that have developed from mitochondria these eukaryotes obtain energy from enzymatic reactions on nutrients from the environment. For instance, the metamonid monosarcomonoids has gained a cytosolic sulfur mobilization system through lateral gene transfer, compensating for its loss of standard mitochondrial iron sulfur cluster pathway. Eukaryotic organisms possess long, slender structures known as flagella, or several short ones, referred to as cilia. These projections are instrumental in locomotion, sensation, and feeding. Composed of tubulin, they're distinct from the flagella found in prokaryotes. Their structure is supported by microtubules, which originate from a centriole in a typical pattern of nine doublets encircling two singlets. Many flagella are coated in hairs, mastigonomies. These organelles are connected to the cell's cytoplasm, which accommodates various bundles and layers of microfilament structures, including actin and actin binding proteins, such as a actintin, fimbrin, and filament. The network's dynamism is provided by motor proteins associated with the microtubules, such as dynein, kinesin, and myosin, when dealing with actin filaments. Centrioles, although not always required, are often found even in groups and cells without flagella. 
However, certain plant species, such as conifers and flowering plants, lack these structures. Centrioles play a vital role in the formation of spindle during nuclear division and are a primary component of the cytoskeletal structure. Plant, algal, fungal cells, and most chromovolates possess a cell wall, which is absent in animal cells. This outer layer offers structural support, protection, and filtration for the cell, and also prevents it from expanding excessively when water permeates the cell key constituents of this wall, include polysaccharides like cellulose and pectin, which comprise a network embedded in a pectin matrix. Eukaryote reproduction is sexual, alternating between haploid and diploid phases, the former having one copy of each chromosome per cell, and the latter possessing two. The diploid phase is brought about by the fusion of two haploid gametes, egg and sperm. Forming a zygote, they develop into a body where the cells divide by mitosis and eventually produce haploid gametes through meiosis. Eukaryotes have slower metabolic rates when compared to prokaryotes, due to their increased size resulting in a smaller surface area to volume ratio. The evolution of sexual reproduction could be a defining feature in the early history of eukaryote. The roots of taxonomy and classification systems in biology go back to Aristotle and Theophrastus, who identified separate lineages for animals and plants. Further, in the 18th century, Linnaeus established these lineages as kingdom ranks within the biological hierarchy as knowledge evolved. It became clear that fungi were distinct enough to be awarded their own separate kingdom. Then, as more single-cell eukaryotes were discovered, they were originally aligned with either plants or animals. In 1818, German biologist Georg A. Goldfuss termed these organisms as protozoa, a category which was further broadened by Ernst Haeckel into a kingdom known as Protista in 1866. Thus, the eukaryotes came to be classified into four kingdoms. Kingdom Animalia, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Plantae, and Kingdom Fungi. However, it wasn't until DNA sequencing advancements that the complex tree of life started to unravel, leading to the development of a system of domains proposed by Carl Woese, Otto Candler, and Mark Wheelis in 1990. They proposed the unification of all eukaryotic kingdoms under the domain Eukarya. Further, in 1996, evolutionary biologist Lynn Margulis proposed a transformative idea to replace the traditional kingdoms and domains with symbiosis-based classifications. From these significant changes, a consensus emerged around 2014 based on phylogenomic studies, allowing for the placement of a majority of eukaryotes in two major clades, Amorphia and Diphida. The emergence of the eukaryotic cell, known as eukaryogenesis, was a crucial turning point in the evolution of life, as eukaryotes comprise nearly all complex cells and multicellular organisms. The origin of the eukaryotic cell likely introduces a point of symbiosis involving a motile anaerobic archaean and an aerobic alpha proteobacterium, which provided the foundation for the development of mitochondria. Another endosymbiotic event involving a cyanobacterium leads to the origin of plants, which developed chloroplasts. The timing of this origin, however, is challenging to pinpoint, with some research suggesting that it goes back as far as 2.2 billion years. Further discoveries of fossils, including those of an alga graphania that date back to 2.1 billion years ago, underline the remarkable distance in time over which these evolutionary developments took place. This narrative revolves around the complex ancient origins and records of Archean biomarkers, more specifically, steranes, which are indicative of eukaryotes. Despite these biomarkers' initial claim of an age of 7 billion years, these assertions have been countered, asserting that they were just later contaminants. The oldest verified records of biomarkers date back to about 800 million years. A molecular clock analysis, conversely, proposes that sterile synthesis originated around 23 billion years ago. The Steranes' status as eukaryotic biomarkers is further complicated by the fact that some bacteria also produce sterile. Regardless of when they originated, it is speculated that eukaryotes did not rise to ecological dominance until later. About 800 million years ago, there was a large increase in the zinc content in marine sediments, which some link to significant eukaryote populations that tend to consume and incorporate zinc more than prokaryotes, substantially after their inception. 